All right, this is a uh, check to see which of these two old cameras, the Canon G1, right there. You can see it takes compact flash, 3.3 about 3.3 megapixels, and the Nikon Coolpix 995, and it takes the compact flash. Plus, it has its its own battery. As you can see, which this model, which is over 20 years old, both of these cameras are over 20 years old, and the uh, batteries cost more than the cameras did. But let's see how they do, how they perform. Uh, check them out.
Well, that was that was a fun day, taking pictures with two very old cameras. The uh, Nikon Coolpix 995. I'm looking at my computer monitor when I do that. I'm looking on this side of the other monitor. And the Canon G1. And I'm looking at DP review. Ah, oh, those guys are going away. What? How am I going to look up old cameras like this? Those two? Maybe they'll turn their old files over to the Smithsonian or something. That'd be an idea. And they'll let the Smithsonian keep track of all the old stuff and let Amazon keep track of all the new stuff, I guess. I don't know, but I'm going to miss it. Looking at DP reviewing the cameras. I think most of us people who use it will miss it as well. I missed popular photography when it went I missed modern photography when it went away. But that happens and we move on. So anyway, this uh, these old cameras were a lot of fun to use. And it was kind of sprinkly that day, as you probably noticed. People had umbrellas and stuff. And I had these two cameras plus my other, my main camera, my Canon I carry with me. And switching between those three cameras, taking pictures uh, at the parade and trying to get the same sort of picture for each camera. Uh, it was not easy, and I finally ended up putting the Canon on uh, program mode. And Nikon was a little more unusual for me because I wasn't familiar with how to set it up. And I'm sure there, if I'd had it longer and used it more, it would be a lot easier for me. Since both cameras use the proprietary batteries, uh, I had no problem with batteries. It wasn't there that long anyway, but uh, it was uh, not a concern. And I. Uh, pictures I, I would sometimes I'd push try to take a picture and the camera would delay because that's what they did back then and suddenly I'd get the picture got a few pictures of the street because it went off when I happened to be pointing it down instead of when I was pointing at something a few times and you thought you saw a lot of pictures well you didn't see all of them I'll tell you that for sure because <laughs> they weren't yeah anyway so the which one do you like better? Well, they were both fun to use. And when these cameras first came out, they were so expensive, I could not afford one. I was still shooting with film, and film back then was was doable. Of course, you couldn't see your picture right away, and, and that was always something you just had to settle for. Uh, the idea that what you took was going to be okay. And most of the time, it, you, know, you knew what you were taking and what the exposure your film was going to look like, uh, focus and everything. But these cameras were fun to use. They, and different than the film cameras I used back then, these cameras could find their own focus. And that was something that really made digital cameras so much better for me, find their own focus. I, you know, the matching up things with the camera where you get the circle, the, the split circle or whatever format your, your film camera had, was not easy. And for these cameras, you know, focus was just fairly automatic. And the little beep that you hear, you know, that, okay, you're just ready to fire. And just hopefully you got the focus on the right thing. So, fun to use. Would I use those cameras now in a regular, something I want, want to take a picture about? Probably not. You know, but that's not the idea. The idea is these old cameras performed a function back then. And they, they can still do it now. And can kids learn from those cameras? Yes, they can. You know, will they? Well, I don't know. You know, people don't want to buy the batteries for them because they've got these old cameras and they're probably dead. But you can order those batteries now. And you don't have to, you don't have to get the Canon battery for the Canon. You can get a, a, a different brand battery for it that's a lot cheaper and more economical. And same with the, the Nikon. You know, order some off brands and put get them in there get that camera give that camera some use uh, let your grandkids take it out and take some pictures take some pictures at home the problem indoors low light stuff just like on a cloudy day like I was had there you know it, you don't get the same quality of picture you would with a lot of light but if you're outside like uh, for an event where there's lots of light these cameras function very well I think you know and fun to use and <laughs> and the the factor uh, they're not large pictures and you can send a lot of them you know to somebody because they're, they're like yeah, less than a megapixel sometimes I mean you know that's just just the way it is so anyway thanks for watching uh, a lot of people say well please subscribe 
and, and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Well, I, I don't usually say that in my videos because, you know, watch what you want to watch. This, just like Amazon, they'll send send you a product and something, and a lot of times before you can get the product, they want you to rate it. You know, it's, wait a minute. You know, let me have a year with this thing. Let me see if I like it. Then I'll rate it. You know, I'm not going to rate this thing even after I've had it a day or two. Let me think about it. Let me use it. See if it's any good. So anyway, I don't know. You're gonna if you uh, have any comments, uh, go ahead and make them below, and I'll try and get back to you if I can. Uh, have a good day. Thanks for watching.